In this video, we shall discuss how to work out problems under conversion method. I have already uploaded a video which explains what is single entry system and how to work out problems under statement of affairs method. If you have not watched that video, the link is given in the description box. Do watch that video. Now let's move on to this video. Uh, single entry system is an uh, incomplete record of transactions that is the business does not maintain complete record of all transactions they maintain cash transaction primarily they maintain cash transactions only so in this case the businessman will be interested in knowing his profit and loss so for preparing trading and profit and loss account he will not have complete set of information certain information will be missing some of the information that will be missing is opening capital. There will not be opening capital. So how to find out this opening capital? This opening capital can be found out by preparing a statement of affairs. I have already explained how to prepare statement of affairs uh, in the net worth method video. So by preparing statement of affairs, we have to find out the opening capital. Credit purchases. If credit purchases is missing, we have to prepare total creditors account in the same way if credit sales is missing we have to prepare total debtors account bills receivable we have to prepare bills receivable account and for bills payable we have to prepare bills payable account payment to creditors is missing we have to prepare total creditors account payment to debtors is missing we have to prepare total debtors account and if any cash or bank items are missing we have to prepare cash account or bank account so based on the missing information we have to prepare so many accounts before preparing your final accounts that is before preparing trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet we have to find out all these missing informations and then only we will proceed to trading and profit and loss account Okay, now let us see the format. As I told you, the format for preparing statement of affairs is already, I have explained you in the net worth method video. Now let's see how to prepare total debtors account and creditors account. So this is the format for total creditors account. This is a ledger account. I have already posted a ledger account video where I have explained you how to prepare a ledger account. See, total creditors is a liability. This is a liability account. So, when you are preparing a li liability account, ledger account, if the value of liability increases, if the value of liability increases, we will credit the account. On the other hand, if the value of liability decreases, we will debit the account. Okay, this simple logic, if you understand, you don't have to buy heart any account. The opening balance of the liability will be in the credit side. The opening balance will be in the credit side and the closing balance will be in the debit side. Okay, so as I told that the opening balance of creditors is there is written in the credit side and the closing balance is written in the debit side. Then cash. Cash means we are paying cash to our creditor. So when we make cash payment, whenever cash is paid, what happens? The value of liability will get decreased, right? When we are making cash payment, say I have to pay 50,000 to my creditor. Now I am making a cash payment of 10,000. What happens? My liability comes to 40,000. So this decreases my liability. So I am debiting it to cash. Instead of paying by cash, if I giving a check, I am giving a check to my creditor. Same 10,000 rupees, I am giving a check. What happens? The value of my liability decreases. So, I am recording it in the debit side. Say I return some goods. I purchase 50,000 worth of goods. Then afterwards, we are returning some 1,000 worth of goods. So, what happens? Our liability get decreased to 49,000. So, the value of liability decreases. So, we are debiting purchase returns. Then discount received. Our creditor is giving us a discount. Uh, for example, is giving me a discount of 2000 rupees. What happens? My liability decreases. So, I am debiting it. Then, bills accepted. If the creditor is drawing a bill in my name, what happens? The liability of bills payable increases, but the creditors get decreased. Whenever we are drawing a bill, whenever a bill is accepted, 
the value of creditors decrease the value of bills payable will, in, will increase that is another thing but whenever a bill is drawn that to that extent the creditor amount will get decreased so bills accepted whenever a bill is accepted we will debit it okay so all these things decrease the value of the creditor so we are recording it in the debit side now moving on to the credit side opening balance since it is a liability the opening balance will be in the debit side bills dishonored see we are accepting a bill here when we are accepting we are accepting a bill worth 10000 rupees we don't honor that bill when we are accepting the bill it decreases the liability when we dishonor a bill it will increase the liability so we are writing it in the credit side we are making a check payment we are making a check payment whenever a check is given automatically the liability decreases but the check is dishonored the check that we have given is dishonored by the banker what happens the dishonored check will increase the liability I have given a check worth rupees ten thousand. If I am giving a check, the liability decreases. But the check is returned dishonored. So what happens? The liability increases. Then we make further credit purchases. Whenever we make new pur credit purchases, the value of creditors will get increased. So this is how we will prepare a total creditors account. This is the logic in which we prepare it. And the missing information here may be. The opening creditors will not be given or closing creditors may not be there. Credit purchases will not be given in the question or cash paid to creditors will not be there. So if any of these information is missing in the question, we have to prepare this total creditors account and find out the missing information. Okay, then we have to prepare total debtors account. Creditor is a liability. Debtor is an asset. Debtor is an asset. For preparing a ledger account, if it is an asset account, the opening balance will be in the debit side and closing balance will be in the credit side. Okay, if it is a liability, opening balance will be in the credit and closing balance will be in the debit. But if it is an asset, opening balance will be in the debit, closing balance will be in the credit. And if the value of asset increases, we will debit it. And if the value of asset decreases, we will credit it. Okay, this is the rule. See, when the debtors pay cash, we receive cash from the debtors. It will decrease the liability. And if the debtors give a check to us, it will decrease the liability. If they return the goods, we have sold some 1 lakh worth of goods. The customers have returned 5,000 worth of goods. What happens? The asset decreases to 95,000. We have sold 1 lakh. They returned 5,000. So now it is 95,000. So it decreases the value of asset. If we allow discount to the customers, it will decrease the value of asset. In the same way, bills receivable. We draw a bill in the name of the customer. It will decrease the value of debtors. Bad debts. Bad debts means these debtor will not henceforth pay money. We are treating it as a loss. So this will decrease the value of asset. Then closing balance. All these things will be in the credit side of the asset account. Now moving to the debit side. Debit side we will have the opening balance. Bills dishonored. If the customers dishonor a bill, it will increase the asset. And if the check is dishonored, it will increase the asset. If further credit sales is made, it will increase the value of debtors. So this is how we will prepare total creditors account and debtors account. Okay. In the same way, either the opening balance of debtors, credit sales or cash receipt from debtors or closing balance, any of this information might be missing. If it is missing, we have to prepare total debtors account. Clear. Moving on to bills receivable account. This account is again bills receivable is an asset. This is an asset. So the asset opening balance will be in the debit. Closing balance will be in the credit. And if the value increases we will debit it. If the value decreases we will credit it. This is the logic of an asset account. Okay. So opening balance we have recorded. Then 
new bills if we are uh, drawing new bills we are writing new bills then it will increase the bills receivable we are debiting it okay coming to the credit side if the bills are dishonored if sorry if the bills are honored the ho bills are paid in time it will decrease the value of bills receivable in the same way if bills are dishonored it will decrease the value of bills receivable because it will those bills will be treated as sundry debtors henceforth so that will decrease then we will record the closing balance then we will prepare bills payable account bills payable is a liability this is a liability so for liability opening balance will be in the credit closing balance will be in the debit if the value increases we will credit it if the value decreases we will debit it okay if we are writing accepting new bills what will happen the value increases so we are crediting it if we are making payment to the bills it will decrease the value of bills payable if we are dishonoring the bill it will decrease the value of bills payable and finally we will record closing balance okay so if the total bills receivable and total bills payable accepted is not there in the question we will prepare bills receivable account and bills payable account okay with this information i think we can work out a few problems for a better understanding this is the question that i have taken from the following information prepare bills receivable account and total debtors account total debtors as on 1190 well, sorry as on 11203 this is the opening debtors bills receivable on 11203 this is the opening bills receivable cash received from debtors bills receivable on 31 12 2003 return inward discount allowed to debtors bad debts written off cash received on bills matured bills receivable endorsed to creditors sales including cash sales 10000 150000 rupees so with this information what we have to prepare we have to prepare bills receivable account and total debtors account okay so now we are preparing bills receivable account i have taken the format which i have taught you in the previous slide i have taken the format in the bills receivable it is an asset account so opening balance we are recording it in the debit side what is the opening balance see bills receivable on 112003 is 5000 rupees so i am writing 5000 rupees in the amount column then bills received that is total value of bills received during the year that is not there in the question that is the missing information now bills honored value of bills honored see cash received on bills matured this is bills honored so it is 7500 <coughs> then bills dishonored this is nothing but bills receivable endorsed to creditors this is bills dishonored so it is 5000 rupees balance carried down that is closing balance look bills receivable on 31 12 2003 this is the closing balance it is 7500 so that's all tally your account your credit total is more your credit total is 20000 tally the account the balancing figure is 15000 which will be the missing information see bills receivable that is the missing information this you will get it as your balancing figure so we are preparing this account to find out the missing information in this question the missing information is bills received during the year that we got it as the balancing figure next we will prepare total debtors account this is also an asset account we have to write the opening balance in the debit side the opening balance is 18000 rupees so i am writing a two balance brought down 18000 then bills dishonored total value of bills dishonored see it is 5000 rupees so writing 5000 rupees then check dishonored in this problem there is no check payment so there is no check dishonored so i am leaving this credit sales see sales including cash sales including cash sales of 10000 the total sales is 150000 we want credit sales so how much will be the credit sales 150000 minus 10000 minus cash sales we will get credit sales okay then 
coming to the credit side cash cash received from debtors it is 1 lakh rupees in this problem there is no check payment there is no payment by check so there is no by bank sales returns sales returns is nothing but return inwards so it is 7500 in the question then discount allowed look the discount allowed to debtors is 5000 rupees then bills receivable bills receivable is not given in the question but we have find it out in the balancing figure as the bills receivable account in the bills receivable account we have got bills receivable as the balancing figure it is 15000 then bad debts bad debts is 1500 in the question so i am writing 1500 closing balance is not given in the question that will be the balancing figure so you total the account the debit total is more it is 1,63,000 the balancing figure 34000 will be the closing balance of debtors this is your balancing figure okay so this is how we will calculate if you understand the format this problem is very very simple just fill in the blanks and you should know the meaning see here the word directly it is not given as bills honored it is given as bills matured in the same way bills dishonored is given as bills receivable endorsed to creditors return inwards is nothing but sales returns so like this if you understand the words and if you know the format this is just a fill in the blanks problem i have taken another question from the following information find out credit sales and credit purchases so if we have to calculate credit sales we have to prepare total debtors account and if you want to know credit purchases we have to prepare total creditors account okay in the previous question it was given directly prepare bills receivable and total debtors account in this problem you are giving them given the missing information you asked to find out credit sales and credit purchases so for that we have to prepare this account okay the first account that we are preparing is total creditors account total creditors account is a liability so opening balance will be in the credit side opening balance is 19000 if the opening balance is in the credit side the closing balance we will record it in the debit side 15200 then cash this is cash paid to the creditors see cash paid to creditors it is 40000 then purchase returns there are two returns return inwards and return outwards return inwards is sales returns and return outwards is purchase returns so purchase returns is 4800 discount received see discount received is 1000 rupees then bills accepted see bills accepted is 9200 then bills dishonored in this problem we have one dishonored but that is bills receivable bills receivable dishonored will go to debtors account bills payable dishonored only will come here okay so this as i told you it is just like kind of a fill in the blanks but you should know what will go where okay bills receivable bills receivable always go to debtors account bills payable only will come to creditors account so there is no bills dishonored in this question then check dishonored there is no check payment so there is no check dishonored also credit purchases this is what we have to find out this is the missing information so find the total the debit total is more it is 70000 70200 so 70000 200 and the balancing figure will be the missing information it is 51200 it is nothing but credit purchases within bracket b dot f which is the balancing figure then we will prepare total debtors account debtors is an asset so opening balance will be in the debit side opening balance is 20000 closing balance is 24000 okay then cash 
cash received from customer so you should be very clear cash paid will go to creditors account cash received will go to debtors account cash paid creditors cash received debtors it is 80000 rupees then sales returns it is see here return inwards is sales returns it is 10000 rupees then discount allowed see discount allowed is given here it is 6000 then bills receivable bills received from customers this is bills receivable it is 34000 then bad debts bad debts is 13000 Okay, then bills dishonored, bills receivable dishonored as I told you this will go to debtors account. So 7000 in the amount column. Then check dishonored, there is no check payment so there is no check dishonored. Credit sales is the missing information. So find the total, total in the credit side is more, it is 1,67,000. So writing the total on the debit side also 1 lakh 67000 and the balancing figure is 1 lakh 40000 it is nothing but credit sales this is your balancing figure so we have found out credit sales and credit purchases so this is a very very simple type of problem if you understand the ledger account then this is just a fill in the blanks problem Hope you understood this. Thank you for watching.